Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Pemco number 217 SNV. This is a satin nickel anodized over aluminum door shoe, a U-shaped door bottom. You can sure see why we call it that. The 217 is representative of the fact that this is a U-shaped door bottom with the particular insert. The SN means satin nickel. That's This is what satin nickel anodized over aluminum looks like from Pemco. When you order a satin nickel or a dark bronze for that matter or a bright dip gold or a gold anodized you'll get a black vinyl insert. Uh, it's available also of course in a A for mill aluminum finish. Uh, painted white PW is also available. I'm tempted to say that that will come with black as well but that A for mill aluminum will come with uh, a gray uh, inserted vinyl. This is specifically intended for inch and three quarter thick doors and there is an image below this video showing the important dimensional properties. Let's go over that now. Inch and three quarter, okay. The height of the longer side that would generally be, in my opinion, the inside with the screws is inch and an eighth of the aluminum. The side I would make the exterior is just under one inch. It is one inch. Then you have a half of it. There's no hard and fast rules. I, I would prefer the screws to be on the inside because the screws will be attacked more by the weather. And I would prefer if they were not because you will have over time anything exposed to the elements will begin to corrode. I I'll have less material on the exterior, less disparate material, a, two different metals making contact with each other. Then of course the core of the door as you drill through, let's say that this is a metal clad residential door, you expose the actual steel itself allowing corrosion to attack that inside wall. I would put the screws on the inside. That's just my opinion be because of that reason. Uh, aesthetics as well. I'd, I'd prefer the exterior of the home to look tighter than the interior or neater I should say. Half of an inch is the important dimension, however, from the bottom of the shoe to the bottom of the vinyl. So if you're dealing with an undercut of about 7 16 or a half of an inch or maybe even 9 16 because of these slotted holes, you're able to tailor that uh, exact fitting on the door. But that's generally what you're going to be uh, faced with in terms of an undercut. 7 16 to 9 16 you've got a small amount of margin and play there. Okay. Now this is used, uh, a door bottom like this is going to be used in exterior residential applications, garage doors, side doors, basement doors. Uh, sometimes U-shaped door bottoms are used to help mitigate the beginning initial stages of fatigue at the bottom of the door. Maybe you've got a wood door and there's a little bit of warp that's occurring, or a little bit of bubbling. Sometimes people will put a cap on there and screw it down and it'll buy them several additional years. I, I've also seen these installed on uh, commercial exterior doors as well. You just have to coordinate the undercut of that door and frame with the half inch dimension that's here. So you could probably use this on typical hollow metal doors that have a three quarter inch undercut provided you're using a quarter inch rise saddle type threshold. Now this is listed in the site in several different lengths. Everything really from two foot to eight foot. Uh, you can order items longer than eight foot which would be unusual for a door bottom, but you can. We just don't list them because the cost to ship something so long, however, it would be available on a special order. If you have need for a custom length, by all means, let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. The reasoning is this. If you had to take this standard 36-inch uh, uh, piece and cut it down to, say, 32, you're going to eliminate that first slotted hole the second one is over here. Speaking of the slotted hole, screws are included in the complementary finish. The point being, you'll be stuck cutting it and then drilling a hole, uh, which in my opinion, you don't want to do because, well, it's naturally, it's difficult to drill a slotted hole. That slotted hole, again, is going to help tailor this on the bottom of the door that you might have a sill that's not level or maybe a jam that's not plumb or a door that does have some warp in it. So if you needed a custom length or if you knew you were going to cut it down, and surely you probably will, get that nut size. Indicate in the comment field of the item you're ordering, which would be the next longest piece, and we'll happily not only trim everything to length, 
but send out the first slotted hole at the proper distance from the edge and the proper center to center as well. Now the name PEMCO is quite synonymous with all things weather stripping related and, and when I say all things I really mean they have the broadest spectrum of available weather stripping for both commercial and residential uh, applications compared to any other manufacturer. If you're looking for the people that have the most variety, PEMCO is a great choice and would be the choice for the greatest variety. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the PEMCO items that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website along with a link to the full product catalog. I'm partial to PEMCO and it's because they keep it easy. They do weather stripping, they do it very well, and they just get the material shipped out and it's always good quality. Their customer service is exceptional. Their technical support is at least as good. And uh, they are a very powerful combination of quality, value, customer service, prompt, reliable shipping lead times. That's really hard to ignore in the industry. And if you have more than an occasional need for weather stripping, familiarize yourself with the PEMCO book. If you have any questions on the 217 SNV or any other PEMCO product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.